uh, getting the siege tank down now. More marines getting dropped, so the Zerglings will be taken out. And Death Angel, this. Go for an infestation pit, go for a greater spire, go for roaches, go for something, but if he keeps on building Zerklings, Banelings and uh, Mutas, he won't be too successful. I mean, he's doing a good job at keeping his mana roads low, going even for 5 spine crawlers. Here are 5 spine crawlers directly at the 1, 2, 3, uh, 4 o'clock base at the 4 o'clock natural. Um, Mutas trying to intercept the reinforcements. Saitini is forced to move back, and this is a smart thing to do. Keep the... Um, Marines in the back and the center of the map don't have them at the front attacking your base and he's not only going for the missile turrets, he's doing a brilliant job also going for the bunker. He slowly can rearrange his siege tank. This is what he's doing right now and they're sliding siege tank. We're sliding around a little bit and there we see another scan coming up. Nothing is happening but with his 8 medivacs, uh, eight marine medivac he will be able to do quite damage. Uh, Marines being misrallied Spine crawlers doing a great job at getting rid of those uh, five kills in total on those spine crawlers. So let's take a look how much damage will those marine drop be doing. And there is just one baneling already waiting, um, lowering the HP of all those forces. Queen most likely will go down. He needs to move away with the queen, but there are the mutas. But it is not enough mutas for him to handle. Um, Death Angel losing mutas over and over again. Let's take a look at the units lost. The Death Angel should be behind pretty much, and indeed he is already behind 10,000 resources. But still, in terms of supply, uh, he is still able to catch up. He's not falling too much behind, even though 20 supply is quite a bit. And I mean, Saitini, he is aware of the fact that he is map control. He is aware of the fact that Death Angel is not going for any sneaky Nidus or Mutalisk um, counter attack place, something like this. So he is expanding once again. He's got the Planetary Fortress up and running in about 5 seconds here at the center. Uh, 5 o'clock location. And Banelink's rolling in once again, and I think we might even be seeing a GG. And Saitini, there we go, the GG is called by Death Angel. Saitini taking game number two, and I'm just amazed by this patient play by him, because he always has a late game plan. Uh, he knows what to do next. Then he opened up with his Reaper bunker attack. Um, he kept it going for quite a while, he just not gave up after the first Reaper. Um, he kept on building bunkers and Reapers, then he um, was going for the Banshees, he saw, okay, Banshees not quite working out well, he's got his second expansion up, uh, his first expansion up, his second base, and... Um, He was continuing to apply pressure, and then with this really smart decision, I mean, um, Death Angel was on four bases, meanwhile Saitini was on two bases, but with this patient play, with the missile turrets, with the siege tanks, uh, with the marines, and with the nice micro, he was able to stay in the game, get ahead, and... Um, Death Angel should have, um, I mean, if you got on four bases, you have those extra 150 minerals and those extra 150 gas to get this ex um, infestation pit and the hive out um, sooner, uh, rather sooner than later. And because of the fact that he did not do it, I mean, he had enough time. If he would have went for the brute law tank right away, it would be a whole other game. But in the end, he did not because siege tanks can't deal with brute lords. If you attack marines with the brute lords, the siege tanks attack their own marines because they want to kill the brute links, and that's why, in my personal opinion, brute lords would have helped out so so much especially that they uh, since uh, that they can outrange those missile turrets as well it's just the perfect uh, way to deal uh, with those siege tanks marines and missile turrets and here we go this third map will be metalopolis zaitini is up 2-0 against death angel so death angel needs to win three more games on the other hand zaitini only needs to win one more game to win the Soul Tournament and the price of the $50, which is sponsored by Razer.